Welcome to Electron Online. Now we're going to talk about equivalent couples. Remember, a couple is a pair of forces that are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction, and they can be directed anywhere in space, in any direction. As long as they are opposite direction, they can be situated in any way, they'll form a couple. And every couple gives you a moment. A moment is the torque caused by the couple of the two forces. Now, what is an equivalent couple? An equivalent couple is a couple that gives you the same moment as an other couple. So here we have two forces that are drawn in red, F and minus F, and so this F sub 1 because we want to talk about the first couple. And then we have two additional forces, F2 and minus F2. And they're both acting on the same object, a flat plate. And notice that if you only look at the red forces, F1 and minus F1, they will tend to give a rotational motion about a point. And of course, if we draw the point in the very middle, right there, and we want to call, we want to try to calculate the moment caused by that first couple, we can say that the moment caused by that couple, let's call it moment sub 1, is equal to R cross F, which is equal to, well, if we want to find the magnitude of that, so let's go ahead and try to find the magnitude of the moment, that is going to be equal to the magnitude of R cross F, which is equal to uh, R times F times the sine of the angle between them. And of course, that would be the angle between the, uh, let's, let's draw R, of course, on here. So we go from the negative F from the, where it, it acts on this point to this point right there. So let's draw this R vector. So there's R vector. So if we cross R, and I need to draw an arrow there, if we cross the R vector with F vector, we get a moment. So notice that R acts in this way, F acts in that way, so the moment sticks straight out. Let me use a different color for the moment. So that would give us a moment looking like this. So there would be the moment. And notice that it would give you a counterclockwise sense. It would rotate it in a counterclockwise direction. That, by the way, gives you what we call a positive direction. So it's counterclockwise is positive, it's clockwise is negative by, by definition. Now, R times sine of theta is actually equal to the distance between the two. So D1 is actually R times the sine of theta. So if we draw a, since F, this is the line of, this is the line of action of the force, so this here would be called theta, and we could say that R times the sine of theta is equal to the distance between the two. So this would be, and I want to put sub 1 here, and let's call, let's call this R sub 1, R sub 1, R sub 1, so we all talk about the same thing here. So this would be equal to D1 times the force. And so this would be the magnitude of the moment of that particular couple. Now, what about the second couple, F2, and they're separated by distance of D2? Well, if the product of those two, if we could say that um, moment two, so let's call this moment one, keep it straight, let's call this moment one. If we now take moment two, we can say that moment two is equal to R2 multiply times F2. So now let's draw a second vector. Let's call it R2. And let's draw it from this point to that point right there. So there's vector R2. R2. And then this would be the angle. Let's call that vector the angle phi. So we can say then that the magnitude of that moment caused by the these two forces right here is equal to R2 times F2 times the sine of the angle between them, and R2 times sine of phi, that would be equal to D2, so this can be written as D2 times F2. Now, if we change the magnitude, or we cause the magnitude of F2 and minus F2 to be just so, that the product D2 times F2 is equal to D1 times F1, if those two are equal, we can consider those then equivalent couples. So if D1 F1 is equal to D2 F2, then F1 negative F1 and F2 negative F2 are equivalent couples because they give you equivalent moments. So if I then draw another moment right here, 
and this is moment two, which also will have a counterclockwise sense, because again, if you take your right hand rule, you point your fingers in the direction of R2, and then you curl your finger in the direction of F2, you can see that the moment will be pointing upward. So if these two moments have the same direction and the same magnitude, then the couples F1, negative F1, and the F2 and negative F2 are equivalent, and that's by definition the equivalent couples. That's how we see that.